What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to episode number 55 of my Pats of Power and today we're relisting items that we're doing a bit of squad rotation, changing things around. It's time for a change and I thought so as well and I also decided, hey, I think it's time for me to make some coins and I originally started just thinking, hey, I'm going to just bring Tarot into the side and move Sandy Cazorla in on out to give myself another 5 star skiller, give myself something fresh to play around with and then I thought... Uh, is that really what I want to do? Maybe it would be fun to kind of change things around a little bit. And then I kind of saw that Kazorla's price had dropped and I said, uh-oh, I had better sell this squad on before I lose a lot more coins on them, which is always something that you have to kind of keep in the back of your mind. It's something that changing around squads isn't always a bad thing. There's always going to be another player listed in your formation uh, on, on the Ultimate Team Marketplace. And if you don't sell your player when the you know when the market's high, then you're going to be missing out on some coins, or essentially you're not going to be able to get the proper amount of coins back for those players. If you, if you look at it as hey, Kazorla, I bought for twenty five thousand, now he's only selling for twenty one thousand. I've lost 4,000 coins. Now, some of you guys are going to say, hey, actually, I'm going to keep this guy. He's going to be in my team for the long haul, so I don't really care what I had to play for him or pay for him. And that's fine. If that's something that you plan on doing, that's still okay. But if you look at it as, hey, I'm not going to be able to play Ultimate Team for a week. I'm going to sell my Kazorla for 25,000, which is what I paid for him. And then if I can buy him back again a little bit later for about 22,000 coins, I'm going to be saving myself a few thousand coins that I can use on another player or use elsewhere. It's kind of one of those little things to just think about, a little thing to keep in the back of your head that it's a quick little coin making tip. You know, I, I give away a tip in my FIFA Nomics and I talk about it in Paths of Powers all the time. Sell your team overnight. The prices of players are going to go up overnight because there's less of a supply out there. So people are going to have to be, they're going to have to pay a certain premium for a player if they want them. Put them up for a long, long listing. So generally what I'll do is, hey, if I go to bed at 11 p.m. USA time, that would be 4 p.m. Uh, in the U.K., or 4 a.m. in the UK, excuse me. I listen for 12 hours, so that by 11 a.m. the next day, which would be something around 4 p.m. in the UK, they'll have had plenty of time to be up overnight, and I think they'll have a pretty darn good chance of having sold on for a higher price. And then I'll come back, and if I really want to use the same team or the same player, I can buy them back for a lesser price the next day. And just something it's just something to keep in mind of but on the topic of trading and wanting to do a power hour coming up here which will happen this week so if that's something you guys are excited for uh your support is obviously always greatly appreciated on that but i decided to build a budget side and a budget league for the most part is almost always the french league one it's a very underutilized league and they actually had some good players i essentially just started looking through the league without checking any of the prices and hey non-rare players if you can get them for about five or six hundred coins and they have a pace you like you're not going to be an issue if it's a rare player and you can get them for 650 to a thousand coins and they have a pace you like not going to be an issue and that's what i started doing is i just started throwing bids on tons and tons of different players end up getting that bell hand up for 650 coins i'm sure i can sell them on for a buy now of 900 coins later on make my money back get what you know get done what i needed to get done uh, Pastore, I think I get outbid on. PSG players are essentially the only super expensive players in the French League. You've got Ibra, Thiago Silva, Lavezzi, uh, and Menez is sort of pricey, but not really. I saw 2,000 coin Menez set as a right mid sell on earlier, which is pretty darn cheap if I do say so myself. Lissandro Lopez looks to actually be a bit of a tank, and I'm pretty excited that I got him for, I think, a 1,000 coins is all the open bid essentially went for, uh, which you'll see coming up here. But a 1,000 coins, and I, what I did is I kind of went through and compared his stats to some of the other players that I liked on Foothead. And Foothead is just a site that you can use to build squads, check out player stats, um, and just kind of just kind of have a play with different things in Ultimate Team that you might want to be testing out. And so I went through and I put in his, uh, you know, put Lissandro Lopez in, compared him to a couple other players. And the only thing I don't like is he's got a high, high work rate, which I'm a bit nervous about. And so I'm not sure who I'm going to have to pair him up with to kind of counteract that. But I'm thinking it's going to be Obama Yang just for the sake that he's extremely pacey. And I've had a little bit of trouble defending against him in the past. And he's got three-star skills, which means he's going to be my new step-over machine up front. 
but he's gonna have to be worth a try and as you can see a lot of these cards if you need to freeze it go ahead and freeze it but a lot of these guys like both of those cdms i either paid 650 or 700 750 coins for which is nothing they'll both sell for 800 900 a thousand coin buy nows overnight undoubtedly so same thing with bell honda anyways guys if you're looking to build a budget squad i probably check out the league one the player prices are ridiculously low other than that, I will be streaming later on today. Uh, the power hasn't gone off yet, so that's a big thumbs up there. If you did enjoy this video and the tips do indeed help, a like or thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.